Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. So today's video is my guide to denim. I have picked out all of these jeans that you guys can see here on this clothing rack. I've picked out five essential styles that I think anyone can add to their wardrobe to elevate their style, to feel like they are on trend. I've included some of my favorite denim brands and different types of ways for you guys to get denim because I know it can quickly add up. So if you guys are interested in this video, just please keep on watching. So the first category is mom jeans. That shouldn't be so surprising. Mom jeans have been in for a while now. I think a very staple brand is Levi's. So I do have mom jeans in a few different colors and styles. The first one is probably the most basic kind, which is of course the standard Levi's wedgies. So this is what the back looks like. It has the iconic red tag in the pockets. I also filmed try on clips, so I will include those here. Let me just move over a little bit. So yeah, I'll include these here. So mom jeans are super in. So Levi's fits me true to size. Some tips I have for Levi's wedgies is that they do make a 100% cotton version, which does not stretch at all, and you do need to break it in a little bit. It was a bit uncomfortable trying to break it in in the beginning. So how you tell the composition of the jeans is by looking at the tag inside of the jeans so you guys can see here that this pair is 99% cotton although it's 1% it does make a big difference in the stretch there is a bit more of a stretch in this pair this pair is my true to size if you want it to fit like how it does on me go true to size I also recently got into sizing up for jeans because the loose fit on jeans has been really in lately and I've been super into it so if you guys want it to be a little bit looser you guys can size up and if you're worried about it not fitting you in the waist I do have a tip for you guys which I will share with you guys later for reference I am a little bit curvier in the backside which is probably why I have to size up if I want a looser type of fit on my jeans so FYI on that this is the super standard light to mid wash jean with, with a worn in design then I have a mom jean from Princess Polly I believe this is Princess Polly's in-house brand so this is from Princess Polly. I have it in a size 2, so this is really stretchy in the back and it really cinches you in at the waist. I really like this one because you guys can see it's super flexible. It's not as stiff or as thick as the Levi's denim, so it's kind of like a complete different feel on things. Again, you guys can size up if you want a looser look on this one, I think. The size that I got is pretty flattering on me. It's a beautiful color. It's from Princess Polly again. Princess Polly is a really great option as well. And they do have a bunch of coupon codes out there. So if you guys are interested, I'm sure you guys can just do a quick Google or search for that. So yes. So my second category would be loose jeans. They're really similar to mom jeans. I mean jeans and styles are all of a social construct. I'm just trying to categorize it in a way where we all can understand it. So for loose jeans, I did thrift a pair, which I'm really, really excited about. They were originally a dark shade, but I was able to bleach them to this really beautiful light blue shade. I'm so happy. I will be including a tutorial in an upcoming thrift vlog. So if you guys are interested in watching that on my channel, please subscribe or stay tuned. I also included my first IGTV on how to bleach them. So if you guys are interested in finding out right away, definitely go to my Instagram and check it out. I will link it down below in the description box. But yeah, I'm so happy with this. You guys can see it was like a super dark color. It was super rich and beautiful, but it's not something that I would gravitate towards. So I did thrift this for $30 from Beacon's Closet and you guys might be saying $30 is a lot for jeans but this is actually a really nice brand it's by Citizens of Humanity I looked it up because the inside has a label for the style as you guys can see it says Campbell High Rise relaxed straight so i looked it up and these jeans retail for 198 dollars they're still being made by citizens of humanity as well i'm really glad that i picked these up the quality is pretty much the same as a gold day which i will talk about in a bit so yeah if you guys are on a budget but you still want to get 
really nice jeans. I would say check out your higher end vintage stores. I also know that like the regular thrift stores have really good branded denim jeans as well, but they might be a little bit harder to find. So that's what I have on loose jeans. Um, these definitely are my favorite jeans of the moment and I can't wait to style them outfits and stuff like that. So my third category would be distressed jeans. I have this pair of distressed jeans. They are from Agolde. It is their 90s style jeans. Just like Citizens of Humanity, Agolde also sells pretty pricey denim jeans. These retail for about $188, but I was able to apply a 20% coupon on Lulu's. I just signed up, made an account, and after a while gave me like a customized code for 20% off site-wide. So if you guys are interested in saving some money on some nicer denim jeans, I would say that's definitely an option for you guys to take. And yeah, I can say that I love these so much. They've definitely been my favorite jeans since I've gotten them. So yeah, I think everyone needs a pair of distressed jeans. They look super cool. They make all of your outfits look, look super casual, but also like really structured and detailed because there's so much detail in your jeans. I also picked up a pair that is not as distressed, but still has some rips in them. So this pair is also from a gold day. I did the same thing. I applied a 20% coupon on them from Lulu's. So you guys can see here, it has like a modest amount of distressing, but it's still super cute. It gives your jeans and your outfit like that much more of a detail. And I really like these. I still have the tag on them because I haven't styled them yet, but it's finally getting a little bit colder here in New York. So I'm really happy with these. They're super great. I would say um, if you're built like me, I would say go true to size. If you guys can see here in the back, I actually cinched it in with an elastic. You guys can see it's super flattering, but I also still get the loose look on the bottom and then it's fitted at the waist. I actually haven't done it on the one with a moderate amount of distressing. So you guys can see the exact difference between both of these gold day jeans. They fit exactly the same, but one of them has the elastic in the back. I'm actually going to do the same thing with this gold day jean. I do it to all of my jeans ever since I discovered this hack. I would say I fit true to size for a gold day because I do this hack. I don't particularly want to size down because then I would be losing the loose fit that I get on the leg portion and I am a little bit chunkier or thick. You know, I'm not like the thinnest. So yeah, but if you are thinner than me, I would definitely say you can consider sizing down and a lot of retailers do have free return shipping. So of course you guys can try both sizes. My fourth category I would say is get a pair of darker jeans. I don't particularly gravitate towards darker jeans, but I do think some outfits really pop with a darker denim. So I have a darker pair of denim from Levi's. They are the same style as the ones that I showed you before. So it is the wedgie style from Levi's. This is also the 99% cotton one. It comes in this beautiful, rich, medium denim blue color, and it's super awesome. You guys can see how it fits on me. For certain outfits where I want a darker bottom, I will pull this pair. I do think everyone needs a pair of dark denim. I'll probably try to thrift or find a pair of dark loose denim because I think that's a really good combination. And my last and fifth category would be trendy jeans. I think this probably is one of my favorite categories. So I have two styles to share with you guys. So of course, I have this pair from Yes Style. If you guys do follow me, I did share it with you guys in my recent new and fall items. I haven't worn it yet, so I still have the tags on it, but basically it is the asymmetric button-up jean. I think the first time I saw it, I thought it was like a little bit weird, but as you guys know, if you see it enough and everywhere, you eventually might like it. So that became me. I did consider getting it from a gold day, but because it is a trend, I didn't particularly want to put the money towards pair from a gold day but i found this pair it is basically a dupe it is also really nice quality it is thick ow <laughs> it is thick it's really great quality it really gives that like sturdy jean 
look super cute it gives you the same exact effect for a quarter of the price i think this pair goes for around thirty dollars on yesl you guys can use my code hey carmen for ten percent off your entire yesl order this pair is super cool it's also like a loose fit jean i can't wait to wear these these really stand out and again this is a pair of trendy jeans and lastly i have this pair of jeans this pair is from Lioness. I got it from Princess Polly and it is super duper long but if you guys can see it has like a slit at the bottom. I believe it's meant to be like extra long and the style is for it to drape over your shoes be it like heels, heeled sandals or sneakers. So I decided to style it with some sneakers. They look super cool. They look loose. They just give that vibe that you like don't care and you still look super cool when you wear it again i did my little elastic diy in the back just so it can fit me a little bit better like literally these were made for me because i made them for me <laughs> so yeah those were the five styles categories that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you guys liked this video it was a lot of fun to pull out and justify all of these jeans that i have in my collection and also brainstorm some more styles that I can pick up. I hope you guys liked my tips and brand suggestions as well. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you're new here and want to see more from me, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!